after Edinburgh, it was almost just a sigh of relief in that um, Ulster knew that after the performance down in Thoman that if we could replicate that performance, then we um, we would be able to go a long way to winning the game. And obviously, Edinburgh knocked out Toulouse, which was a massive a massive win for them, and I guess maybe a bit of an upset. But um, you know, obviously, it made us very aware of what they were capable of. So um, we sort of knew going into the game that it was going to be very tough, and they were going to be throwing it around and playing their typical style of rugby, which is is obviously very hard to defend against and very hard to contain. So on to the final. Uh, 19th of May in London, Twickenham. It was very surreal, the whole thing, wasn't it? It was. It was very surreal. Um, I mean, if I never see uh, if I never see Nigel Owens at Twickenham again, I'd be a happy <laughs> man. I'd say um, that's that's done from two now. And this last season, anyway. But um, look, I guess you know it was a big step up for us that year. Um, and full credit to Leinster. Um, they played great, and it's probably the best I've seen them play for. Well, for a long time anyway, um, and it just seemed to click from that day. And I mean, whether you look at the scoreline and say maybe it blew out a bit at the end, but um, you know, I think Ulster really put their hearts and, and souls into the performance, but it just didn't really happen for us that day. And maybe the the quarter final and the semi final were were the big games in us, and then we just maybe the final was a step too far this year. But I think um, you know everyone's very focused on this new season now to to really kick on, not only consolidate but take it that next step. Tom, I don't think many people know what actually happened to you in that game. Ten minutes into it, what happened to your hand? Yeah, it was about probably just after ten minutes. Um, just went in for a, a fairly innocuous sort of tackle. Um, swung my arm in and hit my hand on the top of one of the other guy's heads. Um, and I guess straight away I sort of knew that there was something wrong because um, I felt a fair bit of pain and... Um, the thumb had gone numb and I couldn't really move my thumb at all so I sort of tried to let it go for a little bit to see if it was going to wear off and it was just a bit of a stinger or something on my hand but um, yeah it didn't really work out that way so How did you bind in the scrums? Um, well I tried to convince Rory to cut a hole in his jersey but um, hook a thumb in a bit because I couldn't really use my thumb and I couldn't bind with it or anything so I was just mainly using the, the top of my hand but um, yeah, Rory was a bit worried. His jersey might tear open, and his rippling abs might show. So um, <laughs> it was just use a lot of a lot of sticky spray and just try and get away with as much as possible. And um, I'd really just told the medical staff and that that as soon as um, I wasn't able to bind, and as soon as the, you know it was actually paying a price on the scrum and the line out and that, that um, to, you know to make the call. Well, did Gigi know it was badly damaged? Um, I think I, I probably didn't let on. Uh, that it was damaged as badly as I thought it was purely because um, I wanted to see how it would turn out obviously and, and whether I could use it or not and also obviously it's a Heineken final um, which you know obviously they don't come along very often so it's one of those occasions where I think they might have had a gut feeling there was something wrong but um, you know it just uh, I guess it's one of those things where if the player says it's all right sometimes they just have to go on his word but I mean, there's probably most players have played with some sort of injury for a while, at least anyway, in the past. So it's just one of those things where you get on with it and um, you're taking bangs and knocks all over the place and um, people have sort of hands strapped, thumb strapped and all parts of their body strapped. So um, it was just a matter of sort of strapping the thumb up a bit and getting on with it. And after watching the review, you, you see the, the rugby that Ulster played and actually played some, you know, we played some really great rugby at times. It was just really putting that last pass in or maybe getting that lucky break that went our way um, and maybe just a few lapses in concentration, maybe just because we weren't making the, the half breaks and, and getting maybe a little bit of change from the chances that it maybe just put a damper on the spirits and then Leinster just capitalised. I think they maybe had five or six chances all game and, and took, took advantage everyone. of mm. all of them. Yeah. This season now is about to start, you're getting the cast off this evening, you're looking forward to it? Yeah, look, um, you know, everyone looks forward to the start of a new season. I mean, the guys that enjoy their holidays maybe don't look forward to the pre-season or the first few weeks that much, but, um, you know, it's always exciting, new season. There's new guys coming in, um, you know, some of the old teammates are returning. We've got a new coach this year as well, which is really exciting. Um, so it's always just it's brilliant for everyone just to get stuck in and try and not only consolidate in last year but really kick on and, and um, see if we can take it to the next level. How's Tommy Bush here up? Does he look as if he's half fit? Oh, look, he always he always looks great in the mirror, I guess, but um, 
you know, you never really know with, the, with those guys that play on the wing. They tend to be able to hang back out of the way for a while until they have to score the try. So, um, look, he, he's, um, he's, he's back training now and he's getting stuck in, so I think he's raring to go as well. Well, you're off on another short holiday before you get stuck into training. Uh, where are you off to? Uh, I, I'm lucky enough to get a, a week in Greece, so it should be... It should be a cheap holiday then? <laughs> well, hopefully I won't need to convert to drachmas, but um, hopefully the weather might be a little bit cheerier than this anyway. Tom, thanks very much. Thanks, Ray.